Hello, Thames, you infants. This is a very, very tired head teacher, having had a very exciting afternoon, travelling to Kensington to London Live's studios, where I was interviewed for the evening news about me being the only London finalist in this year's Head Teachers of the Year Award. I really am tired, but I've stayed up late. I'm going to stay up late to put together this podcast so you can see some of the stuff that happened behind the scenes and actually the interview itself. It's just been a really terrific day and I'm very proud of all my children, parents and of course Claire and all my lovely staff that have helped make this so successful. I hope it will remain as an inspiration to everyone really and and how good it will be for our local community too if I do win. But nevertheless, it was a, a lovely day and I hope you enjoy these clips. Well, it's not every day, is it, that you go and represent Thames of Infants in the Head Teacher of the Year. So, Claire and I have decided to go for a little cup of tea while I get my interviews clear and straight in my head. We're in Kensington at the moment. It's all very exciting. We're going to be there for five. We're, we're really, really early, but let's just see how it goes, eh? We're looking forward to it. And look, she's had a cake. I wouldn't dare have a cake because I'm too nervous, but anyway, that's the last thing I want to do. Hope to... I can't stand it on the telly! Um, look, <laughs> I hope you'll join us at um, 10 to 5. 10 to 6! 10 to 6 on London Live. That's um, Freeview Channel 8, and I believe it's... Sky 117? Yep, Sky 117. This really is so, so exciting. So here I am in the green room at London Live and of course it's not green it's purple and of course my tie and shirt matches that but look there's a green sofa there and there's and there's Claire and she's the one that's really really nervous although maybe I'm just suppressing it and over here on the telly of course there's been some awful news in London today and thankfully we missed all of that and it's so nice that they're still going to interview me despite all of that um, is the news story that's going on so and I'm gonna be on that in in 25 minutes aren't I probably less than that in 20 minutes and uh, yes and 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 Claire's gonna come in the studio and if she's allowed she's gonna do some little sneaky shots behind but maybe she can't do that so yeah so that's it so excited feeling really good and that's lovely for our school and those children and I know what I want to say and let's just hope within that interview um, I can I can get it across and look, there's the there's the presenter there and she's going to be interviewing me so enough for now see you in a bit now my next guest has been shortlisted for head teacher of the year the only Londoner to receive top six recognition in this year's awards well Paul Jordan is the head of Thamesview Infants in Barking a school that has been judged as outstanding twice under his guidance well first of all congratulations for thank making you, the shortlist Annie. thank you when you found out that you made that top six what was your reaction it was mixed really the school's in the most deprived ward of the 10th most deprived authority nationally and i'm just approaching my 10th year of headship so what a, a lovely message that gives to those you know largely very deprived working class ch children in, in my demographic you know you can do this it's, it's a it's, it's a lovely message and i'm thrilled as well because 24 years in the profession 10 years being the head teacher it's it's it's, it's just a lovely accolade and under your head, so to speak, your rule there, for want of a better phrase, you, you've turned it around because it wasn't always seen as a good school. No. In, in fact, someone said to me, you know, you don't want to do your first headship there, Paul, you know. And, um, but be like Annie Walker, my name was on the door and, and every child deserves the best possible provision possible. And I didn't set out to be outstanding, let alone twice outstanding, let, let alone be in a national leader of education or being here. It's just that every child and their family deserves the best. They need to be empowered. They need to be give that, given those fundamental building blocks for later life. And if you get that right, it sort of kind of looks after itself, really. It's, um, it's lovely. A great team, a beautiful demographic and just lovely, lovely children, Alex. Have I got this right that you take your dog to school? Pear. Pairs the school dog. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 about giving children, you know, beautiful messages 
um, for later life, you know. And so there's chickens, there's Humphrietta, the three-legged school cat, and, and pears, um, and pears, my dog. She's got her own little risk assessment, and um, and she's got her own little bed, and and she follows me around, and it just gives. It's it's all part of that added dimension that we give to those children to make to make it you know beautiful for them, vibrant. Now you've been in a profession ten years, and like you say, you are in one of the most deprived boroughs. What are the challenges for you and your staff currently? And I've just got to say, they're a beautiful, they're a beautiful team as well, and I couldn't do this about them, yeah? And people talk about hard-to-reach parents, and it's not really, it's about hard-to-reach schools. So it's getting that connection right with those families and challenging traditional dispositions to learning. And that's why we do things, innovative things, like um, podcasts, to, to TV infants is a um, is a YouTube channel, and so that you know that kind of gives them a behind the scenes look at what really goes on in school. And we, we, my leaders and I tweet as well at TVI infants, and it's it's it, little innovative things like that, huge big family events. Um, uh, we we say our schools are a school of leaders with empowered children, you know, because you need that voice to succeed in life. I'm a working class boy, you see. You, you know, you don't need to go to university, they told me. And um, if you can talk and if you feel confident, you, you can succeed in life. OK, well, just very quickly, last question, if I can, is how important are awards then like this for recognising the hard work that teachers put in every day? I just think it's nice. I just think it's a nice celebratory thing. And there's a lovely feel-good factor around the school at the moment. And we were talking about it in assembly today too. I, I just think it's lovely. Teachers, teachers work very, very hard, but so do, those so do those children too. OK, well, Paul Jordan, thank you very much thank for joining you. us this evening. Next, the artist. It's all over, it's all done. That was, a, that was really such a fun thing to do. Um, Didn't he do well? And Claire's just shown it to me, because obviously I didn't see, because it was all just live. Lovely. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that. How lovely for our children to see their head teacher. We're going to have to play it tomorrow, because you've got to play Spot Me, and Spot All the Children and Spot Everybody, because there's so many faces on that on that podcast. It's lovely. You know, that really puts that school at the heart of the community, doesn't it? And, and of course, they showed the podcast, so all yeah. those... All those families and faces are all there too. Yeah. So here we are, stuck in Kensington, and um, and uh, time to go home now. Do you know what? Number one, I've not eaten all day, and number two, I keep on needing to go to the toilet. Long so. journey as well, so we best go and have another try before we leave. Thanks for all your support on Twitter. It's time to go home now and collect pear because pear's famous. Pear's still at school though. <laughs> pear's still at school. My lovely caretaker, site manager Billy, has got pear. So we need to go back to school first, late night. See you later. Bye-bye.